Are you ready to take your presentations to the next level? Forget about boring and static charts and embrace the power of 3D. In this video, we're going to explore the exciting world of 3D design for presentations, and I'm going to show you how to create stunning visuals with the help of Vectory, the most phenomenal and user-friendly 3D creation tool out there. Let's create something amazing using 3D. Watch the video till the end and we will learn the following. Getting familiar with Vectory interface. Creating 3D object. Applying directional lights. And exporting to PowerPoint. Simple. In next 20 seconds, let's get familiar with Vectory tool options and be ready to create awesome 3D elements. This is the selection panel. Here comes the all the things required to create 3D objects like box, cone, cylinder, 3D text, etc. Then you need lights for a 3D environment. It has many lights options. Just like PowerPoint, this option is about arranging everything in the 3D environment. Then you need to reshape, bend, twist, and customize a 3D shape. This is the menu you can use. Then comes a mix of some advanced options which we don't need for this tutorial. Vectory comes in free and pro version. For our tutorial free is enough. On the right side you will get the required options for any selected 3D object. And on the left you will get layers option. Now let's start creating 3D bar chart. It is very easy. Select the cube and draw the base of the chart. You can change the length, width and height by changing the X, Y and Z values or you can also do it by selecting these small circular points. On this right panel, you can change the material and color properties. Well, you can try all the options here to see the visual impact. The more you try, better you will get in achieving the desired output. You will be amazed to see the variety of options here. I am impressed. My favorites are metallic and glass material. It gives wonderful results. Well, what's your thought on this reflective output? It looks so glossy. I am just loving it. The best part is, you can use your mouse to view it from all direction. Try to zoom in and zoom out to see the impact. Inspect your design from all angles to see if there is any problem and fix that. Now rename the layers for our ease. Let's insert another cube to create bars for the chart. We will be creating three bars for our chart. Creating bar for our chart is very simple. Anyone can do it. Just squeeze it from left and right direction and increase the height from the top. If you have used any other 3D software then Vectory will be very easy for you. Also, keep an eye on the right panel options. You may want to change the color, material, emission, brightness, etc. to get the best output. Try to use all the options and see which option looks best. The results are impressive and sometimes even I get confused, like which option to choose. Well, this glass effect is looking really impressive. This color is looking beautiful. Checking it from all the angles and the output is nice. Let's slightly increase the height. Now let's add one more bar on the right side. Rather than creating a new bar, let's duplicate the same to save time. We just need to change the color and height. Duplicate again and move to the right to create the third bar. It's so easy. Now you can review it from all angles. The reflection of light on the base is really impressive. Now let's change the colors for the second and third bar. You can also choose the colors from the color palettes from various online sources. For the third bar, I am still thinking which color to pick. How about yellow? Do you think it will look nice? I am thinking of changing the color of the base as well. I want to keep it on the lighter side. There is nothing wrong in trying again. The reason I want to keep the color of the base lighter is that, below the base, a 3D plane surface will be added which will have a darker tone. Similarly a wall will be added. I know you didn't understand it. Keep watching the video, you will come to know. Meanwhile, this yellow color is still not looking good to me. I was skeptical about it, changing it to something else. It is much better now and the color scheme is very balanced. Now let's add the 3D text. You may want to use 3D text for the chart and bar titles, numbers, some insights, etc. Also, on the right panel you will these detailed properties which you can change and get the desired output. 
Here, I have written chart as a text. However, if you see the depth number is on the higher side, I want to keep it minimal. Now if you see, it looks much better and readable. 3D text with higher depth are difficult to read and text is the most important part of any presentation. I have also changed the font. It looks more corporate now. Also, you may want to change the brightness, roughness, metalness, etc. This will give it a more realistic looks and feel. Then we will replicate the same text to show the numbers on the bar chart. This will save our time and efforts. You can easily bring the two-dimensional view to align all the objects on the 3D plane. We will use this option to change the text and apply data points on the bars. It is very easy to operate. You can change the text from the text property on the right panel. Use the same procedure for the remaining two bars. Incorporating 3D elements in PowerPoint can greatly enhance the visual appeal and engagement of presentations. With realistic depth and dimension, 3D models can help to clarify complex concepts, highlight key points, and captivate audiences. Whether used for product demonstrations, data visualization, or creative storytelling, 3D elements are a powerful tool for creating impactful presentations. Coming back to the tutorial, now it's the time to add three-dimensional plane at the bottom and behind the chart. This will make the chart more beautiful, realistic, and a kind of immersive experience. Here you can see, I am using dark color on the 3D plane. I think gradient will look much better. Let's see how it works. I need a dark colored gradient here. You will be amazed to see the output. Move the sliders to the right or left, change the color, brightness, and see how it looks. Now it has started looking nice with the gradient. My idea is to focus some light at the center part and keep the darker area towards the edges. Now it looks great to me. I will now use the same plane behind the chart. Expand the plane from the left and right. Now duplicate the plane by pressing Ctrl D and rotate the plane by 90 degrees. After that, move it to back behind the chart. Now zoom in to see the view you want in your PowerPoint presentation. If the plane is still within the view, further expand it. I think this angle is fine for our PowerPoint presentation. Let's further expand the plane so that blank area is not appearing within the view. So this is fine and I will use this angle for the PowerPoint presentation slide. What are your thoughts? Now it's the time to add lights. Vectory has many options for lights from different angles. Let's add a couple of lights to brighten up the scene from different angles. Then evaluate the output we get. So here, I have used rectangle light. You can see the light reflection on the plane behind the chart. Also, you can change the light angle, emission, and size. You need to decide what you want to highlight with the lights. Now let's add one more light above the 3D text that I have used. Multiple lights bring more depth and realistic look. Here I am changing its height and angle. However, if you see the output, it looks very nice and realistic. Visualizing complex objects and structures in 3D can greatly aid in understanding and decision-making. By leveraging the power of 3D, presenters can create dynamic and compelling presentations that leave a lasting impression on their audiences. As we have created the chart, but how to export it? Click on Settings and then Open Renderer. On the right panel, Select the image size you want to download. It's so easy. After downloading as an image, just copy and paste it on your PowerPoint presentation slide. Now here is the final output. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it informative and helpful in improving your presentation skills. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to our channel for more helpful tips and tutorials. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and share it with others who might find it useful. Also, the download link for the PowerPoint slide used in this video can be found in the description below.
Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.